Before we get started, can I just point out one thing? Sure, why not? Does anybody else notice the weird character development between everyone and the missing pieces in this chat? Explain more for us, Wade. Let's start with you, Mr. Racist. As I was watching all the parts I noticed from part one to seven, you was an ally. Then you turned on Austin and betrayed him. Not necessarily true. Yes, yes it, it is. is. Thor's been neutral, but mostly siding with him, but also glazing the hell out of that man. My job is to protect and serve. No, it's not. Fuck up, Dr. Unusual. Then we have a talking raccoon who's on his period and decided to take his anger and depression on everyone else. Now wait a fucking minute. I have no idea where Cap and Bruce went. They're like a black man's dad. Once they're here, the next they dip. See, now that is racist as hell. I mean, am I wrong? Not, not at all. The truth hurts, Strange. Get over yourself before I turn you inside out. The hell is that supposed to mean? I don't know. It just sounded sexier in my head. This man is so corny, sometimes it's not even funny. At last, but certainly not least. We have seen your Thanos. What the fuck do you have to say about me, Spider-Man Offwish? I just wanted to say, you had the most amazing character development out of anyone in this chat. Are we going to ignore the fact that this man brutally attacked Austin? This man has broken every bone of his, shot him numerous times, and even sent him back to the plantation days and yet has come to agreements with him? Oh, let's not forget, he's an amazing storyteller, holy shit. This man is unpredictable. Gotta expect the unexpected sometimes, what can I say? This has been quite the adventure. Nobody cares, Goldilocks. Also, quick question, where the hell are the other Avengers? Half of these people haven't even showed up like Black Widow, Hawkeye. And what's that democratic criminal who stole Iron Man's suit and painted it red, white, and blue? Brody? Yes, him. Oh, man. See, here's the thing. Oh, great. Another story you have to tell? Yeah, but it takes place on the night on 31st Street. 31st Street? Wait a fucking minute. That's where Pepper lives. I know it was at her house, and we had a huge slumber party, but let me tell you something. Things got out of hand. Okay, I'm fucking sick of this. Go ahead and tell your little story, and I swear if it's what I think it is, I'm blocking and reporting everyone, and this discord is going down the drain. You're such a soft little boy scout. Pick your panties up and know that the world doesn't revolve around you. I'm not gonna lie. This might be the best one that I've told so far. You guys want to hear this one? Tony's getting muted so his soft ass won't interrupt me, though. No, 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 please. I'll be good for you. I promise. All right, fine. So here's how the wheels on the bus went. 